damn Kirito. Who would have thought Def Gun giving you the run for your money and teasing your ass at the same time? That's what you get. No shit you did back then is biting you on the ass right now. Let's talk about it. <laughs> In today's episode, they finally set their plan to action. Shion will be back up, meaning she'll be up in some high tower aiming for Kirito, while Kirito will be out there being bait. And their first target is a guy named Dark Wind. He's probably going to be extremely fast. This dude's running like top speed, and Kirito's sitting there meditating, and Shion sees the dude and snipes his ass. So they're pretty much trying to take out everybody else before Def Gun gets to them. Smart plan, okay, I applaud them for that. Then finally, she sees Def Gun. And she's like, oh, I got your ass now. But her mistake was putting on a red light. Def Gun saw that shit coming, he fired, and them bullets like, And the funny part is, they didn't even take them out, they took out their scopes. Their freaking scopes, they're like, damn, man. <laughs> I was like, shit. And so, Shion screwed up. So Kirito went off to fight Def Gun, and Def Gun is getting run for his money, man. He's like kicking Kirito's ass all over the place, and Kirito is kind of calm. And then he's telling, yeah, I know all about your plan, Def Gun. I know what you're up to, and I know how you're doing it. And Def Gun's like, and here we got this much right. Meaning, he, there's a lot more to it than we think. So pretty much, there has to be a lot more people involved into the situation of how he's killing people and why. But now we get to see Def Gun talk some more. Seems like he's too into the game. He's still in SAO, meaning he's like, oh, you're still breathing human air and shit like that. Like, what the hell, man? This, it's called real life. He's too stuck into the game that he thinks he's still a red player. Even in other games, pretty much he must be some dude that does not like reality. So he's trying to become like a god in the video game world. So, something's totally wrong with that dude. So Kirito is kind of freaking out now, like, okay, who is this guy? I know him, I just face him, because they keep showing that freaking flashback over and over again. It's getting kind of irritating. But finally, he remembers one of the dudes that they capture. And he wanted to find out his name, but it turns out Kirito said, I don't want to know your name, because we're not going to see each other again. And or guess what happened now? You mean that same ass motherfucker right now that <laughs> you met years ago. That shit can't even buy you on the ass, man. If you only asked for his name back then, you won't be in this mess. You would know who he is, and you would have been able to capture his ass and tell the government or whatever to go get his ass. But it's too late now. It's too freaking late now, man. You. You fucked up, Kirito. And on Asuna's side, she's gone to Kirito's side when he's unconscious, seeing if he's okay. And the guy looks like he's in a hell of a lot of pain. And Def Gun's like, yo, man, we're about to finish this. We're about to finish this off now. I know what Shion's gonna do. Shion has lost her scope. So is she useless? Or hopefully she'll be able to do something, Shion. Please don't. These are like, feel like the final moments right now of this battle. So I want Shion to jump in, like, have some handguns or some shit, some grenades, like, because I don't want her to be on the sidelines. I don't want to just be him versus Kirito. I want it to be, like, one against two, because Steph Gun seems like he knows what he's doing with his high-class armor to the point that not anything can cut through it. So, I would say this episode did kind of interest me, because it kind of had some con- con- <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it had some consequences. Damn, it was so hard for me to find that word. Consequences. On uh, about about what you do in the past. If you ask for his name back then, you won't be in this situation, Kirito. So this episode had me a little enjoyed. I did enjoy this episode a lot. So I have to give this an eight out of ten indeed. So we know more about Def Gun, how he's more into the game world more than we think, and now how Kirito is still shaking up like, oh, he's probably feeling like an idiot right now. So tell me what you guys think. How is this battle going to end? Is this even the final battle? Who are the other people that are helping out Def Gun? And what will Shion do now, seeing Kirito in danger? Uh, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Macron Madame, signing out.